Welcome to today's edition of A Stock to Trade, 21st May 2020, after market hours. I am Sagan Nandi. I used to work in information technology. I have retired now swing trading stocks using the Q trading systems and techniques. You may contact me using these email IDs. I have put together a number of trading resources open to the public. Here are some of them, my YouTube channel, Twitter page, and my traders forum. Disclaimer, I am not an investment advisor. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is not a trade recommendation. Trading involves risk. You and only you are solely responsible for the outcome of your trades. In today's analysis, I am going to use Q Global and Q Finder for technical analysis, charting, and scanning. They run on Metastock. I will also use Q Elite technical analysis system that runs on TradeStation. For fundamental and peer analysis, I will use QVital and for sector industry rotation analysis, I will use QH. Today from QFinder, I saw that both for the trend continuation signals as well as for the trend reversal signals. The red bars are bigger than the green bars showing that the market was bearish. There were more bearish signals or short signals than the bullish or long signals. Based on that, I was looking for a shorting opportunity. I found this stock from QFinder PNM Resources. The ticker symbol is PNM. It is in the middle of the price range, neither at price extreme high nor at price extreme low, shown by the yellow color here. PNM gave a gap down open today. It touched a memory resistance and also bounced down from that memory resistance. You could gather all that information from QFinder even before opening the chart. Now I am using Elite on trade station. I am looking at the same stock PNM. First using the weekly interval and then using the daily interval. For the weekly period, the stock is still up by 3.8 percentage. However, the false move column is showing that it tried to go up but reversed considerably, reversed by minus 5.6 percent. The touch column is showing that on the weekly chart it touched a memory resistance. What about the readings from the daily row? Today it opened with a gap down minus 0.4 percent. Then it went down further by another minus 2.3 percent, closing down relative to previous day's close by minus 2.7 percent. On the daily interval also, it touched a memory resistance and bounced down from the memory resistance. Once again, you could read all that information even before opening the chart.
now let's look at the chart pnm using the weekly daily at a glance template in the weekly chart it touched the memory resistance line initially it tried to go up but reversed in the daily chart it touched the memory resistance and also bounced down from there it has a bearish traffic light candle color because it tried to go up and hit the memory resistance and it is coming down now and in the weekly also it is unable to break above the memory resistance you might consider shorting the stock at or near today's market close putting stop just above the memory resistance and set your profit target at the lower boundary this is the fundamental scorecard of pnm using cube hyper the stock went down today by minus 2.7 percent its valuation is in the middle neither overvalued nor undervalued the earnings growth is positive however it is decelerating one quarter ago the earnings growth was 100 percent and in the latest quarter earnings growth came down to 38.5 percent because it has medium valuation and earnings growth is coming down you might consider shorting the stock in terms of fundamentals the stock pnm belongs to electric utilities industry this is a snapshot of qh real time sector industry rotation analysis tool from the heat map you may see that the electric utilities industry is weakening what about its sector? The utility sector is also very weak. Both the industry and the sector allows us to short the stock. This is another look at the same stock PNM. This time using Q Elite on Trace Station. This is a daily chart. Based on the daily chart, I already showed that you could consider shorting it at the close of today's session just before the market close could you try to take the trade in the morning session yes from the daily chart you can see that in the beginning it tried to go above the memory resistance line and then reverse I have drawn a horizontal line at the memory resistance level on the daily chart now let's switch to five minute interval using Q fine tune template this is the precision entry template for swing trading or you may also use it for day trading this is the line that is the memory resistance in the daily chart after the market open the early range low and early range high pivot levels were drawn automatically by the system and after a while the stock went below early range low and also below the daily memory resistance level that was the point you could short the stock precision short entry using fine tune chart and put stop for the day just above the day's high the stop was never hit instead the stock went down and when it hit these pause pivot levels again automatically drawn it already gave more reward than the risk taken in the trade if you took it as a day trade you could book profit at that time at least partial profit and book remaining position profit at the end of the day if you initiated it as a swing trade then you could continue to hold the stock overnight 
that is how you could use the different queue systems components queue global queue finder queue elite queue vital as well as queue edge to easily identify a trading opportunity where all the forces are aligned in favor of the trade I call these trades 360 degrees trades and you will find this to be truly high probability low risk trades that is all for today's session I look forward to seeing you in my next edition of a stock to trade have a great day and trade profitably